welcome to my vlog. Is that a good intro? I don't know. I might, I'm probably not going to keep this in. Anyway. Welcome back to my monthly-ish vlogs. Um, I haven't vlogged in a while and I have my own like personal reasons um basically basically the last couple of months <laughs> have been interesting to say the least and I haven't vlogged I haven't wanted to vlog and now I'm sort of feeling like I want to start vlogging again so I'm starting to vlog again I, I always wanted to use these vlogs as like a, like a diary, like something that I could look back on and remember what happened because I don't know about you guys but my memory lately has been shockingly bad. So I figured that i try documenting the things that were happening and you know bring you guys along for the journey if you want to come, totally up to you. But if this is the first video you're watching none of that is going to make any sense. So, hi, my name's Shama and I'm an art student. Um, I'm in my, well I'm about to go into my second year and I study fine art at the Cambridge School of Art, Anglia Ruskin University. And about a year ago, just over a year ago now, in, back in May, um, last May, not this May, um, I opened an Etsy store and been running it ever since and it's done okay and it's it's not my full-time thing it's like a little side hustle if you like um just something for me to do that i really enjoy so yeah um so if you if you're new hi if you're not new hello again um it's been a while <laughs> i'm here i'm back send me back and I'm ready to start these vlogs up again. So, what have you missed? Well, quite a bit if I'm honest. Um, let's see. Last time I vlogged, let me have a look. Uh, da, 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 da. So, my last vlog, <laughs> my last vlog, was April guys okay it's now September let's just let's just not go there okay so April <laughs> so what happened in May May I was handing in all my uni stuff but um, because of <laughs> like the virus and everything um we had to submit our work digitally now that's fine if you're doing like law or english or something that's quite academic and you are writing essays and doing a lot of like just like coursework and stuff like that um that would be fine because you actually submit most universities now submit digitally so you just upload your essay onto a server and the university marks it. But when you're doing fine art and you're making like actual things, um, it's a bit trickier. It's a lot of videoing and photographing and those files can be quite big. And basically I was having the worst time trying to get my files small enough so that they would upload. Um, Basically, we were allocated to so much, a certain amount of space. They all said, everyone from the university said that the space would be plenty and that no one would exceed it. Guess who ended up exceeding it? Yeah. So I couldn't load up all my work and... Oh, it was a nightmare. I thought I had failed at one point. You know, it was... Well, but anyway. So May I was uploading work, then June I was waiting for results, which took forever it felt like. So I distracted myself by 
redoing this room as you can tell it's a different camera angle and the walls are white now instead of pink so I'll do a little room tour and show you guys um, I'm really happy with like the changes and everything but it was like a clear I need a project to distract me from the fact that I don't know what I'm getting like my exam results are due any time um, and then early July they came I passed great Fantastic, going into second year, Whew. don't have to worry about it. Um, so it was all going well. I was I was actually going to start um, vlogging again. I was part of a charitable auction, like an art gallery auction. I had a couple of commissions that my friends and people were taking, like asking me to do for them. I was working ish on creative projects and things like that, and then. We found out that my granny, my grandmother, had passed away when she was in hospital. So I wanted to just concentrate on me and my family. And yeah, so at the same time, it was my sister's wedding. And we had moved most of it to next year but she still legally wanted to get married and that still had to be organised so it was a close call but we did it, we got there and it was beautiful, she looked amazing, they're so happy, that's the most important thing and I love it that she got married for getting married sake and not just like having like the big wedding like and so it was small, it was intimate but it was lovely and now I have a new brother-in-law although he's always always been a brother to me yeah so that's just a quick catch up I will go into more detail I'm sure but like for now that'll do and yeah so it's September and it's kind of like doing what I did right at the start when I started these vlogs I'm about to head off to uni, we're literally packing up my stuff tomorrow, I move back this weekend and we all hit the ground running again, so strange to think I was doing this exactly a year ago, but that's been that, what has happened more recently? Um, so I did my autumn release and I am really sorry I did not film any of the making and coming up with the ideas and whatever but um, I will, this is like a little dip, dip your toe back into blogging so forgive me if it's just me sitting here talking, I promise that the next one will actually have some other bits in. But for now I'm just going to catch up on like half the year's worth of stuff. I recently became um, a patron of Emily Harvey now. If you don't know, Emily Harvey is an illustrator that has a YouTube channel and she is amazing. I followed her for must be over a year now. Um, I loved her vlogs and I started following her on Instagram and she's so sweet, she's she's so lovely and she opened up Patreon, now if you don't know what Patreon is, Patreon's like, um, like a subscription basically, you subscribe to like, well Patreon calls it tiers, so you have tiers and you as a Patreon give the artist like monthly a sum of money and then you get something in return so it's kind of like a way of supporting artists and giving them like a regular income I have first tier is like a pound whether or not other people could afford that I could afford it I could afford a pound a month so and she's a huge inspiration to me and I wanted to do it so I did I signed up I actually did my autumn collection launch and the day I launched the project I signed up because I was so nervous for the launch 
that I wanted to have something else going on to distract me because I had been meaning to join her Patreon for a while and <laughs> that's so bad to admit it isn't it but I knew that she has a lot of content already up and there's like chats and, and other people that you meet like online and that are other patrons of hers and so literally the m minute after I pressed launch for my shop I registered as one of her patrons and I just spent the whole day on their like group chat catching up with everyone because there's so many people and <laughs> that kind of distracted me from yeah I was a bit nervous about my shop release so I needed a distraction I needed something else to, to happen that day in case it didn't go well I know that's bad but it's the truth I was nervous I, w I was nervous I was insecure I was terrified I wouldn't get a single order and I just needed something else to happen that day that was good and positive so I joined her patron and I'm so glad I did and she's wonderful and lovely and yeah um, it was a great experience I wish I had joined earlier in fact I wish I had joined, joined straight away and I've met some wonderful people lovely and so supportive and I feel like I'm dipping my toe into this like really amazing like community of people that are just so supportive and yeah it's wonderful and it's lovely and everyone's so positive and we're like there for each other it's really nice it's like the best feeling like if I had known it would have felt this good to join I would have joined earlier so that's been great so I'll have to show you the autumn collection yes let's do that now so here is the autumn collection um, I hope you can see all right I'm sort of using the light from the window um because I don't have any fancy lights up here so um, so this is the whole collection and in it you get there are two greetings cards so this one and that one and I sort of did them like you know um, autumn is also like fall so I did like falling in love or falling for you or fall. like I just thought it would be really cute to do something because I know a lot of like couples who they met or they had their first date like and it was autumn but there's nothing really like autumn-y and romantic like that doesn't seem to happen quite a lot so I thought anybody that had like an anniversary or they met someone in the autumn and it's like how they when they first realized they were in love or something like that like they could send each other these cards and they're like sort of autumn love cards so I thought that was cute. Um, these are the postcards. So I have like two designs. So it's like this one, which is like falling, like so literally falling leaves. And then this one, which has like like a glow, like a like a circle of like warmth in the middle, because that's what I kind of feel like autumn is. It's kind of really warm in the centre and then it like glows outwards. And we have um, stickers. So these were just freebie stickers that I put in with every order. Um, just a little illustration that I did. And then these are sticker sheets. So these stickers, like, you can peel them off. And they're just, like, the little elements. So you've got, like, conkers and acorns and berries. And then, obviously, your autumn leaves. So that was that and then I also do these note cards so I did them with the same designs but unlike the postcards where you can pick which design you like better so if you like the falling one you can get and there's all of them are falling like so oh, there's three of these all the same design and then there's three of those in a pack all the same design but with this note card pack 
Um, I did it so that you've got six cards, so you've got three of each design. So you have three of this one and three of that one in one pack. So they're cute and they're like proper little note cards. And um, yeah, one's uh, landscape and one's portrait. So I thought that was really cute, like you're sending letters a lot. In autumn, you can send them just a little cute little card. And then last but certainly not least, is my absolute favourite. This is the Autumn Leaves art print. And I literally made this design and like turned it into a wreath and I used all the elements that were in the sticker pack to build the wreath around the edge. So it's sort of like these were like the individual elements and they're like you can see them so like the the leaves and the acorns and the berries and stuff they're all in there and they all make up this like reef and then we've got another sort of like warm glow sort of emulating from the middle so yeah I mean that along with some freebies was my uh, autumn collection um, really happy with it um, I think it looks like really warm and like cozy and it's just how autumn makes me feel it's, it's a good season so everything will be is in my shop now and I'll, I'll link it below somehow I actually don't know how you you know when people have like the writing like up here and like things pop up on the screen I, I don't know how to do that I'm literally such a newbie when it comes to like film and editing and stuff like that I've got no idea um, but I can I can copy the link and I can at least put it in the uh, the description box I know how to do that know how to do that at the very least um so yeah so it's in my etsy and on my website store as well so you can run along and get that the um the print is the first time i've ever externally printed it's, uh, i i think i'm only gonna sell 25 so that's gonna be that will be it i think um I can't see myself ordering like any more because I don't think I just I've always wanted to do a limited edition print so and I loved this one so much I thought it would make it extra special so I only ordered 25 and they came and they were beautiful the quality is lovely and it feels really soft like I that sounds strange but like smooth and it's really really nice I personally would love it if I got one so that's what I just try and do though I just try and make things that if I was bought it or if I was shopping for it I would love and that might not be <laughs> that might not be the smartest like business plan to only create stuff that you yourself like but I don't know how to do it any other way I can't make stuff just for the sake of making it it has to be like like me kind of does that make sense I don't know why I'm talking to you like you can respond I honestly but anyway I'm very happy with it and I just you know fingers crossed it goes well and other people like it too you know you, you can never know it's always a bit of a gamble um that people will like the stuff that you make but I try, you know, to put as much in it as I can. Really hope people like it and hope people buy it. So, yeah. Also, while I have you here. Um, <laughs> sorry, that's such a bad joke. Um, I, while I was waiting for my results, I said I reorganised this room. And it really I, why don't i just show you uh, my mind is like not working today you're a camera i can pick you up so this is my room 
and let me just take you through like step by step so then we have this bookcase and it has just some prints that are um i'm working on for steve the lovely steve the man with the shop um and this is my bookcase and yes i have a lot of books <laughs> So what happens when you do two degrees, you end up with a lot of books. Anyway, <laughs> um, this is like my wardrobe slash art print display slash storage cupboard. So this is actually, we're in my sister's old bedroom and this used to be her wardrobe. And me and my mum transformed it into my stock cupboard. And it's literally packed. So these shelves, by the way, are brilliant and beautiful quality. And these little mini shelves, you know, like the half depth, they're optional and you can put them in when you make them. So we put the first row, we've just put little half shelves. And then we kept the bigger boxes for at the bottom. So I have art prints pocket mirrors and A4 cards, badges, thank you cards, more leaflets and coasters and just stuff everywhere and uh, yeah and I have backing card down there that's boring, just envelopes and stuff like that, packing, these packing boxes that everyone uses but they are really good. And then next to that, we have my two printers. I know, so bad. But I got this one, and it's beautiful. It's this um, six-color printer. I think it's the Epson. Oh, it's, oh, can you see that? Yep, XP960. And I got this one. If I'm honest, I got this one because Catnip got this one. <laughs> and she uses it for her art prints and it, it does print out beautiful, that's lucky, I have one here Be beautiful prints so this is one I printed myself, this is one of my art pieces and um, yeah, but it, it does eat ink so I got this one, which is the eco tank so you can see I actually got this one and then Emily Harvey, the, the illustrator that I um, mentioned before she I think she has this same printer although I have the 7750 which is means it's a3 I think she has the 7700 but that's literally the only difference like the ink comes in bottles and you fill them up and I need to fill that one up look at that that's going down really low but yeah so I had to get this one so because this one was eaten up way too much ink so now I have the top one I just use for art prints so it, I, I only use and I use archival paper and the six color ink so this one just does art prints and then this one pretty much does everything else and the quality is still really really good it's beautiful so I use it for my stickers my cards my postcards greeting cards all the cards so this is like a tray that I got from Ikea and it just has all my card and my A5 cards that turn into A6 when you fold them and then my A4 cards that turn into the A5 greetings cards when you fold them. Yeah, this whole shelf is just like dedicated to like paper. And then over here, we have something that you probably recognize. I feel like every YouTuber in the world has these set of alley straws. <laughs> and on top I have Cricket and it does that ah thing when it opens. <laughs> I feel like it should come with its own music, but right now I'm not happy with Cricket because it is not working, it is causing me so much problem. And Cricket helpline is absolutely rubbish. So, Cricket, if you're watching this, reply to my emails. I need your help, it's not working. And then, so I have my Cricket mats up right in front of it, so I literally print, stick it. Put it in. <laughs> this is another thing that I see like so many YouTubers use and actually it's not mine it's my mum's but I stole it from her because 
she's had it for like years and it just never got put up and so I sort of pinched it from her and I got it put up like in a day so I still I need some more accessories because obviously a big chunk of it that's not being used right now okay guys sorry about that I uh, yeah my memory card ran out of storage um, <laughs> and I was like mid-sentence so I don't know why I was saying something about the pegboard but I stole it but I didn't steal it from my kid I stole it from my mum but that's up there it has tape and ribbon stickers I give away like free stickers with every order so that's what that is and then moving on to my my desk so that's me importing all the stuff off this memory card that was in this camera I've swapped out for another one so where was I guess the desk so this is actually a spice rack and I use it for all of my note card packs so these are the note card packs that are in my shop so I used to just print them as they came but now I have a stock and they sit there then this is another thing I stole from catnip like another idea I got from catnip sorry Catherine love you um, <laughs> and this has all of my sticker sheets in them and then I have this like I guess it's like a pegboard again but it's just like a grid one and I just clip things on it so it's quite tall so that's it and then this is like my desk so this table is actually a bit of MDF that we got that sort of sticky backed marble effect like roll of sticky backed like vinyl and we turned this like bit of off cut wood into like the most gorgeous looking desk and then obviously the Alex drawers that every YouTuber has <laughs> I, I don't know why maybe because they're just they're good they're good drawers and then this is like the view I have out my window so yeah but that's it that's that's my office so so yeah so that was my room so uh we did all of that like in a couple of days we painted it and then we moved all the stuff out well we moved the stuff out we painted it in a couple of days and then we moved all the stuff in and we rearranged everything and it works so much better this way around and it means that you don't have like the bed used to be in the background so you don't have that and the window used to be in the background so it hit me wrong and i'd have to have a light like on me because there was so much light from behind me I wanted the desk by the window so I'd get the natural light on me because I don't have like fancy camera lights up here so it's like working with natural light and then the backdrop is it's quite nice actually I think because I have all of the art prints that I collect just interrupting here my cricket has not been working for a couple of days now and I had a shop launch where I was selling sticker sheets so I needed it to work and literally it stopped in the middle of cutting stickers like this is anybody recognizes the the border this was a sticker sheet I had a pile of them and it got through most of them luckily it got through most of them but this was the second to last one and it started messing up on the second to last one so I have sticker sheets luckily and people have ordered sticker sheets so I've had them on like in stock but I really need to get it working because if anybody else orders like a bunch more stickers then I'm gonna, I'm gonna run out and I can't cut anymore because my Cricut like won't calibrate and it's funny I put printed off the calibration sheet and I fed it into the Cricut and it wasn't scanning the lines it was like this far away from the black line it wasn't anywhere close to it and when it couldn't read it it like stopped scanning and then it just spat the sheet, the sheet. It just spat it out at me, like, and it landed on the floor. I was like, that's rude. <sighs> you know. Anyway. Cricket ran over. Back to your normal scheduled programme. So I think I've talked for enough. I feel like I've been talking all day. Um, I don't really think, this isn't like a monthly vlog, and I don't really know what to call it might have to call it a monthly vlog because I honestly don't know what else I've recorded 
but if you like the look of the collection and you want to see what other things that I brought out because I didn't just bring out the autumn collection um, go to my um, Etsy shop or my website and have a look but I want to um, just say thank you to everyone that um, was so supportive and lovely to me on the run up to the launch my shop update um, I have some really amazing people now that I know who are super encouraging and supportive and I just want them to know that I really appreciate all their support and their love. I'll see you guys later. Okay. Bye.